What's happening, y'all? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you all with another IndyCar Diecast review provided by my good friends at Circle B Diecast. Make sure to use that promo code OBBYT to get $5 off of shipping on your next purchase. It's got to be $30 or more. And I believe this Diecast I'm about to show you right here um, is still in stock at Circle B Diecast. So, you know, get it while you can because these uh, these IndyCar Diecasts, man, they definitely do sell and they sell out quickly. Um, I think what, like, um, there was already a few that already sold out, like Devlin D, D Francesco's. Uh, uh, power tap car and David Lucas's car, but this one right here, this is on your four time Indianapolis 500 champion Elio Castroneves in his 2022 Sirius XM Auto Nation um, Honda Delara for Meyer Shank Racing. And um, yeah, this is the second time we got ourselves the uh, Meyer Shank um, die cast. Um, as you guys know, we had last year's 500 win, but this one has some slight differences to it. But I must say, guys, I'm a huge fan of the Meyer Shank cars. Um, it's kind of weird that we only had, you know, Elio's car produced and not signed Pagano's. I mean, they're basically the same uh, paint. They're basically the same uh, livery layout. But we'll get some more information about that in a second, guys. Uh, love the packaging. We got 06 right there. We got the Brazil flag. Elio Castroneves. Um, how you say it, Elio or Helio, but I always call it Elio. And on the back, if you guys do want to do some reading, I mean, there you guys go right there. And how about that? He also uh, resides in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. That's all about that. That's uh, not too far where I am, so being or in Orlando. But anyways, let's get with this diecast review and the official unboxing of Elio Cash Services 2022 Sirius XM Automation Car. And alrighty guys, we got this die cast out of its box, and man, let me tell you what, these Meyer Shank cars absolutely do not disappoint, I mean, when you see these cars in person, man, that hot pink, it really catches you in the eye, um, it's like a day glow pink, if you know what I mean, but heck, hot pink's a lot better to say, I mean, cause heck, who doesn't like pink, it is quite hot, I will say that, um, but yeah, back to what I said about, like, in the introduction, guys, it's kind of weird that we only had, uh, Elio's car produced, but not Simon Pagano's, as you guys know, Meyer Shank expanded to two cars this year, and I'm a big fan of Simon Pagano. He is my favorite current IndyCar driver right now. But um, there's a slight problem that we had with Meyer Shank, guys. I mean, I guess this is like a de developmental year for them or so. I mean, uh, it's only been, what, like a few years now since they ran full-time. But this is the first time they're running full-time with two fielded cars. And um, all I can say is, my God, they have been lacking a lot of speed. And they have been, you know, pretty unreliable, too. Um, I really thought these guys were going to have a good shot at this year's 500. But they just didn't show up, man. They didn't. I mean, they started pretty deep in the field. And we thought Elio was going to have a good shot. So as you guys know, he is, you know, the defending Indy 500 winner. So, <laughs> Elio, I mean, my Lord. I mean, you can't go wrong with Elio Cash Devis, man, guys. Even though his IndyCar uh, season this year wasn't really explosive, he had some other good runs. I mean, to start the season off um, for, for the uh, 24 Hours of Daytona, which I had the pleasure of going to in person. Uh, fun fact, guys, I mean, to kind of show you guys my experience, I mean, uh, I'm telling you guys this because Eli Neves, Simon Pagano, and the other two uh, drivers, I think it was Scott Bloomquist, I think, and there was one more, uh, I think, probably Rockefeller, I think, that went on to uh, go out and uh, win this race. So, pretty cool, guys. Pretty darn cool that we got, um, you know, Eli Neves. Um, to go out and win uh, Meyer Shank Racing's uh, second 24 Hours of Daytona, um, which was really awesome. I mean, that was something that I just needed. I mean, I never, I've never seen my favorite uh, driver win uh, in, in in like sports car series before. I mean, and this has come from a guy who's mostly hit that the only sports car racing he ever went to was the Six Hours of the Glen. But I had the pleasure of going to the 24 this year, and. Um, the 12 hours of Sebring, and it's looking like I might actually go for PT Lama actually um, at Road Atlanta in the next week or two. But um, heck, we're gonna see how things are gonna kick off right there. But getting on to the diecast, guys. Um, Elie Neves also had a he also had a pretty good run at uh, you know the se at season two of the SRX uh, series, um, winning the season opener at five five flag speedway. So um, yeah, I mean. Like I said, his IndyCar it, it, it career wasn't really too uh, explosive, especially for this year. Um, you know, but heck, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm still impressed that Elliot Cash never is still rock and roll and he's still racing in Indy cars because he's been doing this for a long time, guys. A long time. But we see we've got the nice hot pink right there. And we got dry pink, which is like, a, you know, a cancer organization foundation for uh for uh for i believe uh was automation so that's pretty cool um i believe all the hondas actually have that because uh, they have partnership with uh you know um uh, automation let's see sirius xm meyer shank racing honda um and we got arctic wolf that's one of the new sponsors i guess they're like a clothing supplier i guess but look at this guys even on the window uh rail right here would you get sirius xm uh where the arrow screen is for this uh for this uh you know arrow screen banner AutoNation honda so really nice detail and it kind of looks like i don't know like it's like a matte finish to it but they're just painted over for the plastic uh for the arrow screen but really nice AutoNation. but you can see we got this nice thick white line and that's something we did not have on last year's car that's probably the only difference got a point 
point out. Um, they see Sirius XM, the Firestone tires, which goodness gracious, Firestone definitely needs to consider going to NASCAR because I can't stand Goodyear anymore, especially after that Bristol race. Good Lord, Goodyear sucks. Uh, we all know that for a long time now. I mean, just ask Tony Stewart. We got some more auto nation right there. Elio Castaneves, uh, some more. Is that a PBG logo right there? It might be. Um, hey, no wonder this car is so bright and vibrant, probably with PBG paint, even though that's a Penske sponsor. That's kind of ironic because, you know, both Elio and Pagano were, were both former uh, Penske drivers. And that's kind of the main reason we thought, I, th I thought they were going to kind of bring this team to life and, you know, show some competitiveness. But, I mean, Elio, I think, finished 18th in the standings, and he didn't score a single podium or win. Uh, I think he only led one lap as well, but I think that was, like, during, like, pit cycles. Um, and then Pagano only got, like, one podium, and that was at, you know, finishing second at the uh, the first uh, IndyCar uh, Grand Prix. Um, so, uh, or for Indi the Indianapolis Grand Prix. Yeah, I know it's a Grand Prix for IndyCar, Brian, but which one? <laughs> but we see some more sponsors right there. AutoNation, SiriusXM. You know it's a Meyer Shane card when you see those two sponsors, AutoNation, SiriusXM. Um, we also are getting an AutoNation Alexander Rossi. Napa car, so looking forward to get that because that's gonna be the final one that we're gonna have, which is also a Circle B diecast. So if you guys are ready for that, I probably will go ahead and order that one. But um, really do appreciate you guys' uh, support on these IndyCar reviews, guys. You guys know me. I've been a big IndyCar fan since 2013, and every year I go to the Indy 500. So, heck, I know IndyCar uh, and Greenlight Collectibles have, has kind of released these a little late because the IndyCar season is now over. But, heck, it is what it is, guys. It gives me more content to review. But now let's get on to the side side comparison of uh, the Indy 500 car from last year compared to this year's. Um, you see right there, there is definitely a lot more pink. I mean, basically... Basically, that's kind of like how Simon Padge's car looks like, guys. Basically, except the colors are inverted. So if you look at Elio's car, guys, basically invert the colors. Invert the colors, and I think what the number is actually white. Um, so, and of course, the 06 is supposed to be 60. I still don't know why we did not make that, that they didn't improve Simon Pagano's car because um, it's practically the exact same thing. So hopefully next year, guys, we will probably get that. It's kind of the same thing I said with like uh, not getting both Arrow cars um, when they were with uh, Sam Schmidt with Erickson and Hinchcliffe. But um, eventually we finally did. I mean, this year we finally got both, you know, um, Arrow McLaren SP cars, uh, which by the way, if you guys haven't checked out our review, go and check it out because that was definitely a very popular one to review. But getting on to this side right here, of course, there are some differences. The colors are inverted right here. Um, and then, of course, you know, series xm listen free but you see that white line just those, those little fine details the white line kind of connects this paint uh, this livery to go so well but it's pretty much exactly the same guys um but at bright daylight guys this thing will be hot pink but when you have this thing inside it kind of goes off more of a, like a magenta or almost like a like a yeah like a very dark magenta so the colors will change i mean depending on what your lighting is but on camera it definitely is showing off the nice hot pink but um yeah i mean i know a lot of people love to do the comparisons because people are going to look at this 2022 car and be like oh it's just like it's 500 winner i'm not gonna get it well there are some differences to it so especially if you are a big fan of elio castaneves um i would highly recommend picking it up i mean i know my good buddy race 2011 of course would probably pick this up because he's an all-time elio fan but um yeah, it's a damn shame, guys. I mean, I really do want to see Elio. I mean, I think it's kind of now past his prime now. I don't think he's going to get that IndyCar Series championship. I mean, he, uh, ironically, just like with how many wins he has for the Indy 500, guys, he finished runner-up in the IndyCar Series championship four times. And majority of them were beaten by Scott Dixon. Um, I think Will Power beat him, I think, in 2014. So, yeah, Elio, man, has been so close to winning the, uh, a championship. But, man, you cannot beat winning the Indy 500 four times. That's incredible, and he will make history if somehow he can pull a fifth one out of his ass. I mean, Elio's not done, man. He is not done. I mean, he is still racing. Um, he may be in his mid-40s, but, man, he is still rock and rolling. He's still racing, and, um, heck, you know, <laughs> who knows what could happen, guys. I mean, what's next? I mean, he's doing IndyCar, sports car, and SRX. What's next? NASCAR? <laughs> who knows, man? Who the hell knows? But feel free to comment below if you have anything, anything else to share or if you guys have any stories about Elio. If you guys have met him in person, feel free to share it down below. Really do want to hear your guys' opinion on this. But um, this is going to wrap her up right here for the uh, for the four-time Indy 500 champion of Elio Cash Nervous' 2022 AutoNation Sirius XM Honda Delara for Meyer Shane Gracing. Kiyama like subscribe in this mid OBB. I'll see you guys next time on another Diecast review. And my God, hot pink fucking rules.